Yep. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I added uh, a total of 8 centimeters of wood on both sides. Uh, minus the spacer that is already 3. So, 5 centimeters of wood on both sides of the speaker. And it, it's funny because, well, it's not, it's actually uh, quite common, but I didn't think it was that much. It adds like 1.5 dB to the low end. So, in total, 10 centimeters of wood adds 1.5 dB, which is, uh, well, nice. Of course, they're pl they were playing uh, last time there without any frame, and now they still don't have a frame, actually. But uh, the pieces of wood help, uh, well, act as a baffle and uh, extend the low end a little bit, a little bit further. So, the low end is actually right now 1.5 dB down compared to the tweeter. Still uh, playing around for a good configuration. I hope in the end it will be nice if they're uh, on the same level so I don't need to pad anything, but um, I will get there. I mean, I can use the 1.5 dB for the low end, so just do the open battle filter a little bit earlier and then, uh, well, then you gain 1.5 dB in the low end, which is always nice, so because they're not like the open baffle uh, woofer thingies. I mean, they had far more low end and extended lower as well. But this has a mid range and sort of, I don't know, it's it's rather good. I got a SMGA here as well and I don't know, I think this, well, it's my own fabrication. So might as well uh, my mind be playing tricks on me that these sound better but i like the height it's a uh, kind of uh, weird it, it's it's a different way of listening to music if, if the speaker is higher i noticed it's kind of uh i don't know i like it it's better than the the smaller planners i used so far so uh yeah and they're gonna be a little bit higher i uh, uh still because the filter has to go somewhere so yeah, well, um, this is a track, a track of the game Battlefield 9042, and it's live by played by an orchestra for I think it was play or or games live or something, but it's a really, really nice. It's really good. I wish I was there, uh, but I kind of missed all these live orchestra game music stuff i wish i would there was there because it's it's sounding uh, fucking amazing um yeah well there we go i mean why not it's a pretty long track so uh, but the yeah the mid-range is really weird oh by the way i wanted to test this <laughs> so i'm standing at the loudspeaker right now so um you can hear the the room because usually I'm really near to the camera, of course. So this is where the loudspeaker stands. So you can hear the, the room and also uh, the incredible uh, drop of low end, which the phone itself produces. Oh, well, I, I might play a sweep on the phone and see what it does, how low it reached. I, I did something similar yesterday to to bump the low end on the recording a little bit because it's it has a, a high pass somewhere around it looks like multiple, but at least at 150 it drops insanely. And even before it drops a little bit, but I, I left it as it was. But uh, yeah, let's play. It's becoming a long video again that no one is gonna watch. I mean, usually people watch like one and a half minute and then just skip along, but I don't care. I mean, I don't earn any money with it and uh, it's, it might be for my own enjoyment i don't i don't care <laughs> Thank you. 
So yeah. Noise. That was noise. But um, yeah, it's funny. I show you some of the things I did. I'll disable the music. First of all, I well, which panel is this? I think this is the se second. No, it's the first panel. It has some uh, sloppy uh, wiring every there, every now and then. Uh, first of all, I needed to kind of learn how to use this properly, this wiring jig. I mean, I never did a big panel like this. Um, I even had to uh, change it during the way because I forgot about uh, a jig. The panels are in mirror image and uh, well, you have to, uh, your jig has to be in mirror image as well where it's not gonna work. So I made a few um, changes so I can use it for both, but um, so this is the top, that's where um, the double rows are as well. So at the tweeter side there are only two two rows double and, and the non-tweeter side there are three. Because um, <clears throat> the mylar, well because this base wire here starts a few centimeters out of uh, from the side. So there's more movement here possible. So I thought I'll give it only two rows so it doesn't hit the magnet premature. And on this side it's quite close to the spacer so it needs more power to, to move it. Um, yeah, oh, also I used for tweeter, it's hard to see but it, it's not a tri-coil or a tri-wire, but I used two. So none of the wires are exactly in the middle of the gap. And I lose output because of that. I know this, but um, because they're spaced apart, I used uh, two two rows and then put them in parallel. So I got four ohm. Uh, this magnet is here to kind of try to tune the membrane, which is still something I uh, have to look look into. Um, but this is second panel and it's way straighter. So I can imagine if I uh, had some practice, uh, it should be okay. Uh, maybe uh, I got some measurement, last measurement, somewhere here. So yeah, this dip here is my room, I think. I took the measurement before I moved the speakers. I moved them a little bit more to the back right now, so I'm not sure how it looks right now. But um, tweeter extends perfectly fine to 20k. Uh, there was a hump here, and the fun thing is, if you tilt the panel a little bit, like for instance um, something around 1.7 or 2 centimeters, uh, there is gonna be um, some material at 20k is gonna be out of phase, uh, like the bottom end compared to the top end. So it levels it, so it's quite straight now. Not sure what this is, I think it's baffle related. Uh, this huge peak is, I think, the wall behind it. And uh, here, this is probably my room node. And weird enough, the panel resonance is at 70, which just doesn't show up that that hard. This uh, peak here is there, whatever I do to the panel. So I, I think it's the room, but I, I must find a way to measure this uh, better. Uh, distortion wise, there's some weird peaks still, like for instance here. But even then you're talking 0 0.4 total harmonic distortion. Uh, so that's not bad. I mean, I think it's up to, yeah, here at 160, it's still 0 0.7 total harmonic. And that was a peak. Uh, 120 is 0 0.3. And it's total harmonic distortion. So usually it's uh, very often the 
the second harmonic that does the most, which is uh, we're not prone to hearing that. The third harmonic is uh, more annoying, which is way lower. So, but actually after, um, so the mid range is sort of, this is a huge peak by the way. Ah, that's the where where the the audio is gone so, somehow. I think the wall, but uh, yeah, well, it's all down to uh, zero point three or something. Uh, and the bass, which is of course, is gonna be ha more more distortion, far more. So at the resonance, it's really high. It's like ten percent, which is quite a lot. Then it drops to once one percent, one point seven percent. So uh, still got some tuning to do and dampening, especially dampening. Uh, and of course, there is no sturdy frame. It's piece of wood with the the regular market clamp, so everything is rattling. Probably, I cannot hear it, but it will show up in uh, in this kind of measurements. So, but overall, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm. In fact, well, I'm pretty pleased even. So uh, I still have to find a way to make a proper sturdy frame that looks nice, that's cheap. And uh, give it a slight tilt. Not too much, not so much as the MagnaPens or the SMGA and stuff. I want to raise the panel so you don't have to tilt it as much because this tilt is fucking up the whole uh, uh, spatial... Well, it gets spatial, but lots of face face problems, and also the the whole stage sound stage is is fucked up if you do so. So, don't want to tilt it too much, just enough to um, level this uh, top end, which is quite straight now. So, another thing, the tweeter should be a little bit louder, but uh, yeah, well, it isn't, so um, I have to work with it. 